Hi guys, we're going to talk about blood flow in the human body. Blood is a tissue that helps transmit oxygen to all of your body. You need oxygen for respiration, which we learned about a couple weeks ago. Uh, respiration is something that your cells do. Your cells need oxygen and the way that your cells get oxygen is through your circulatory system. Your circulatory system is the system of veins and arteries and capillaries throughout your body. The, this system is made up of a bunch of tubes, basically, that have valves in them and some muscles attached to them that help move blood throughout your body so that you can keep living. There are three types of blood vessels, so these tubes that blood travels through are called blood vessels. There are arteries which takes blood away from the heart uh, after it's been oxygenated in the lungs. There are veins that bring blood back to the heart so that it can be oxygenated in the lungs. Oxygenated means that oxygen is added to the blood cells in your body. So arteries take blood away, veins take blood back to the heart. The smallest blood vessel is called a capillary and capillaries are where blood is exchanged between your uh, circulatory system and the cells in your body themselves. The places where these blood vessels are located are, are all throughout their, your body. They're tiny and hair-like. In fact, they're smaller than the circumference of a human hair. The, the wall that keeps your capillaries together is thinner than one single human hair. I believe it's one single cell wide. So capillaries are widely distributed, but they're teeny, teeny, tiny. So veins collect blood from capillaries and they merge them together into uh, medium-sized veins, uh, which then merge into large veins and these have a low area of pressure and they have valves in them that stop blood from going through and we'll see that because veins are taking blood back to your heart uh, they're actually working against gravity so you do need these valves to stop blood from falling back down this is why you can still uh, function if you're hanging upside down these these systems of valves open and close depending on what your body needs to maintain homeostasis so we can see here that there's a there's a, a, a diagram of a leg, and we can see that a valve is is closed when blood is flowing towards the muscles, and when the blood needs to move away from the muscles, those valves will open up. So some things that can affect blood flow, which is the the main purpose of this lesson, it, one of the major ones is blood pressure. One thing to understand about your circulatory system is that blood pressure is a major factor in determining how and where blood is traveling. Um, Blood pressure is low in some areas of your body and high in others, but there is an average measurement that we can gather that can help us determine a few things, mainly how effective is your circulatory system at doing its job. This is maintained by your nervous system. You don't have to think about this as well as your endocrine system. Some other factors that can affect your blood flow is the diameter of your blood vessels. Uh, this is called vascular resistance. How much are your blood vessels resisting the blood flowing through them? If you think about a hose, right? If you've ever watered your lawn and you put your thumb over the top of the hose, it's more difficult for the water to travel through. The easier it is for blood to flow through your body, uh, the more able blood is to get to the parts of your body that need it. So um, if you want to check for your pulse or your blood pressure, or if your doctor wants to do this, then there are a couple places we can look. If you check out this diagram here, here are the main places that a doctor will check for a pulse. So what happens when blood flows through your body? Uh, there is The major thing is that oxygen is being distributed to cells that need it in order to undergo respiration and to continue living. So mainly the, the, the circulatory system is one that tries to maintain homeostasis, tries to keep the body at an even keel. It also flushes hormones or, and distributes hormones throughout the body. It gets rid of dissolved gases. Uh, it can move antigens throughout your, bodies, uh, throughout your body. Uh, and it can aid the movement of proteins. So the, the blood vessels of your body carry blood, oxygen, nutrients uh, to the places that need them. And they take waste and other compounds uh, away from the areas that need them and send them to the appropriate organs like your kidneys. Uh, it also helps diffuse molecules like uh, nutrients to your cells where they need them and water in particular, right? Your, your blood system helps distribute water throughout your body. Okay, so what can cause blood flow to stop? 
or what is a, a symptom of a stoppage of blood flow? Well, two major dangerous areas where this can happen are your heart and your brain. If your heart does not receive enough oxygen, your heart's the whole thing that's driving this system. Uh, if your heart does not receive enough oxygen, then it stops functioning. And if your heart stops functioning for long enough, then you stop functioning. Um, your brain, like we learned about last week, is in control of all sorts of other things throughout your body, like your breathing, for instance. So if not enough blood gets to your brain, then you can have a stroke. And if that happens, and it continues to happen for a long enough time, then you could cease breathing, right? And if you stop breathing, then you stop being you. Uh, bleeding can also affect the flow of blood. If you think about it, if you bleed enough, then your blood pressure will go down. There's less blood in your system. Your, your circulatory system is a closed system. And if it opens up like it's not intended to do, then this can have an impact on all of these things. It can even trigger a stroke or a heart attack. That's it for blood flow. Um, anyways, hope you liked the lesson. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, uh, push the thumbs up button. Um, copy and paste a link to a friend uh, you know what just just push the buttons I'll see you next time